let's get to the games, right? We got a full slate. The Packers visiting the Cardinals Thursday night football. Game open to three. Devontae Adams, now unlikely to play, star receiver for the Packers on the COVID-19 reserve list. Obviously, he's not, he's Aaron Rodgers' biggest weapon. The Cardinals have continued to defy what we thought they were. The Packers have played better the past two weeks against, admittedly, two really bad teams. What do we make of this? I look at this at minus six. I see how well the Cardinals are playing. I see the way Kyler Murray is making plays. I see the way Aaron Rodgers is when he's under pressure and know that he's without his best receiver. I still like it at minus six. I know this is this is such a hard game because you know it is. I, I love taking dogs. You're getting Aaron Rodgers as a big dog here against, you know, Arizona. Yeah, everything you just said is just true. It's it's crazy how well they're playing. And again, the Adams movement to me was a big deal. I have him and Chase as my highest two greater wide receivers this season. For me to move at a point and a half for a wide receiver is incredibly rare. That's that's how much Adams means this team. So I opened it. I liked it at three. I thought that was a good number. I moved to four and a half. Now it's at six. That means to me, I'm getting a point and a half value on Green Bay. Yeah, I, I lean towards Green Bay, but I don't feel like you're getting that much crazy value here because everything you just said is so true. I don't know how Aaron Rodgers is going to do on third down. He doesn't have a safety blanket in Adams. It's, it's a lot of unknown there where Arizona, it kind of feels like we know what they are. They're a legit team. And Kyler Murray is just the ultimate difference maker. This guy is... So slippery, so smart. It doesn't matter. Their coach might be an idiot. It, it's it's all working for Arizona right now. I mean, they literally have not lost this season. So I, I'm we can be on opposite sides, Chaz. I'm not going to force you to take Green Bay, but to me, that's where the value is in this line. It's plus six with them. This is not what like look, the last couple of weeks we've taken teams on Thursday nights as part of our best five. And I don't see this being one of them. No. Uh the thing that I worry about with the Packers is they're starting to get more and more love from the market because of what they did to the bears and because of what they did to the Washington football team. And before that they had barely beaten the Bengals. And before that they had looked like a team that was struggling mightily in the first three games of the year, including losing in the first game. So Aaron Rodgers is getting pressured like crazy. I watched a lot of this game this past week. He was constantly getting pushed out of the pocket and not looking good doing it. I, th I, th I was nervous about that cover most of the game. Um, so yeah, I'm comfortable with the Cardinals at minus six. No, that's so fair. And, and like people talked about how lucky the green Bay got, we talked about, it. they were the worst red zone team. They had given up the most touchdowns in football. They're not that bad. It was going to come down to a medium. And that's what happened in that game. Like this, the Washington football team couldn't score in the red zone. That's why green Bay covered. That's pretty simple, but. Yeah, that's that's a fair statement. They're, they're probably a little overvalued right now just because of what they've done the last two weeks. Ah, good tea. <laughs> I did a, I did my own little version of a of a TikTok meme there. Yeah. Are you on the TikTok? I'm not. I'm a guy in my mid thirties that you know doesn't doesn't care to check out what teenagers are doing, Chad. Hmm. That's funny you think of it that way. I, as a media <laughs> professional, think about it as the new frontier.